Hi, I'm Jim from the Phoenix Society, and I'm here to introduce a little game we invented called Fiore. Essentially, the concept is, is we move up through the weapons in the sections of Fiore's manual, starting with dagger, ending with spear. So Charles and I are going to run through the game real quick. Why are we skipping poleaxe? Oh, uh, we're skipping poleaxe because it's really dangerous, <laughs> and none of us have the proper equipment for it, and uh, we're a little tired right now. Cool. Maybe next time. Mm -hmm. Okay, next time. Charles and I are going to run through it. We're going to start with dagger, and then sword one hand, and then sword two hands, and then spear. So here we go. Okay, so as you can see, Charles beat me, so he gets to move up the sword in one hand. I have to stay at Rundle until I can win a fight. Again, so I'm stuck with Rondel. He gets to use the sword in both hands now. It gets increasingly unfair from you. Yeah, unless I can turn this around, it's gonna get real hard, real fast. Good. So, you wanna recap first, James? Okay. So, I managed to get it on Charles, so now I can take the sword in one hand. He's still in sword in two. All right. One hand. Oh, right. <laughs> oh. So Charles won, so he gets to move to spear. Charles wins. Charles wins again. Okay, so that was it, guys. That was the game. That was Fiore. So as you can see, it gets increasingly more difficult as you move on. You start with rondelles on both sides. Winner goes to sword in one hand. The loser keeps rondelle. You progress in weapons by winning a fight. Whoever wins on spear wins the game. You can also reverse the rules if you want to make it a little more interesting. You can make it so the loser progresses in weapons while the winner sticks with what he has. So you get uh, increasingly further up the manual as you lose fights, which would have been helpful for me today.